everybody out with RB and Eclipse Motorcycles looking at this. Now this is the first ride test of the XDV and it's my first time being on this as well. If you've seen the walk around video, that was a quick overview. Now we do in depth and what we call the deep dive. Starting at the front of the bike, you have an adjustable front screen so you can bring the screen up a little bit. LED lighting all round, single disc to the front. You've got them aluminium protection panels for your feet there and a side crash bar as well, just underneath the plastics. Decent sized rear pillion peg that just pops down. So aluminium pegs there to the rear of the bike. Nice and easy to get in, check your oil there. Decent sized exhaust can and a single disc to the rear. Twin shocks on the near side of the bike. You've got your airbox, your drain, very easy to get the excess water out should you get any water in your airbox. Main stand, side stand, and just looking at the bike overview, this is good. Now, a couple of things on this. It is a keyless bike. So, seat mode, you push it down. That will arm up the indicators, tell you it's all good. Seat, you can pop the seat this way. So very easy to just get in, do that. Your fuel tank located between the rider's feet. E5 petrol there. And loads of stuff on the display. Main beam, dip beam, your hazard lights, indicators and horn. Standard setup there. You have your kill button. I'll show you what this button is in a minute. I like this. Stop start, so you've got the same as what you would find on most of your 125 scooters now, stop start function, your start button, nice wide mirrors, and that multifunction display that is all in LED, or TFT should I say, because it's all colour as well. Revs around the outside, your time, temperatures, miles an hour in the middle, and loads of different bits, and you can set everything up, and all your telltales pop up down the bottom, and down the side now this button watch this flick of a button you can pop the seat now there's loads of storage in there enough to fit a decent helmet in there so really good looking bike from Lexmoto and adjustable levers both sides and also to the back you've got a pass light button as well right let's get out let's have a ride let's throw a leg over and just see, and it's as quiet as anything. Lovely start to this bike. So, setting the mirrors up, having a good look behind, and I've literally got no shoulder at all in these mirrors, so super wide mirrors. Great view of the road behind. Seating on this, 32 inch leg, and I've got a slightly bent leg on this. So, plenty of room, and it is very comfy on the suspension. Now, dual braking. So when you pull on the rear brake, you will get a mix of 70% to the rear, 30 to the front, front brake, and there is not a lot of dive on that suspension. It is just the right amount that you need to get yourself out. So one and a half miles on the clock at the moment, because we've obviously ridden down here. Let's just see what she is like. And it's a very quiet and comfy machine to ride as well. Feet placement, now you can either have your feet straight down like I have here, or you can stretch your feet out in front, push yourself back onto the seat for a little bit of extra room should you need it. So we're rolling in around about 16 mile an hour. It's lovely, hands off the bars, and it tracks absolutely perfectly in a straight line. But that display is very, very easy to see even in bright days like today or night time, a perfect view. Now the indicators all come up on the telltales, but it's very easy to just look over the top of the bike and check that your indicators are off. Now it's very blustery today as well. And as it is a new bike, we are down to 40 mile an hour ride test mileage. But obviously once you run the bike in, and you've had your first couple of services you can open these up we will put all the spec on of what it does to the gallon the horsepower the kilowatts and what the top speed of one of these is and they also do I believe on some of the XDVs a full pannier set as well so you can get the pannier kit for the side the top box as well 
but it is a great little school just looking down how bright are those telltales just to uh, obviously see what you're doing but you can look over the top and see that the indicator is on now this one is already sold and the customer's been waiting for this for about three months because the XDVs at the moment are selling like an absolute hotcake yes it is a lot more money than your standard scooter but for something that is going to rack up the miles and it's more the adventure type scooter as well so fancy sort of going out at the weekends and doing sort of your mountain passes or going off to sort of meet some bike meets there's loads of storage there's loads of room on this and it is an ideal what i would call adventure style scooter this is going to be an absolute game changer when you're competing with bikes like the uh, nmax and the pcx obviously by the big bike brands now if you're looking at one of those you're going to be paying at least a grand to two grand more for one of those bikes but the xdv the comfort on it is really nice it's lovely and comfortable my arms are just where they need to be so i'm not cramped i'm not hunched over the bike like you'd find with some scooters the actual handling on it is really good so let's give it the uh, reach score so rideability what do i think for rideability now i've been out on it i've done a mile and a half already this morning and i'm really enjoying the rideability of this the seat is really comfortable suspension is good just going under the bridge you can see how that display just goes into that blue so you can pick up what you're doing at night time so rideability I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Economy, looking at the specs of this, it's around about the same as what most 125 scooters are. And obviously with that stop start engaged, if you're sat in traffic rages, it is going to uh, save you a little bit of fuel rather than sitting there on tick over. So the economy, yes, it's going to be good. And I am going to give it another 10. Now, affordability. It is a lot more than your standard Titan 125 or your Diablo, so you are paying a little bit more buck, but you're getting a hell of a lot of bang for one of these. So affordability, it is out of the reach of some sort of 17, 18 year olds, but I'm still going to give it 8 out of 10 for what it does and what this bike includes so eight out of ten on that comfort i can't fault the comfort on this this seat is absolutely lovely the bars are great the mirrors are great so comfort on the bike i am going to give it a full 10 and as for handling well i can flick this thing around i was flicking it about earlier just chucking it around the corners just to see what it will do so the handling as you can see it just literally it's very flickable and i'm just using the weight of my uh, posterior and my legs just to flick it around so handling wise yep i'm going to give it a full 10 we're going to go out and do some more ride tests on this but it's a game changing bike this is really good so the lexmoto xdv check it out it is a very nice bike to ride so 48 out of 50 on my reach score so if you are interested we have these in stock at eclipse motorcycles find us on the web eclipse motorcycles mk.co.uk you can give the bike sales team a call 01908 822 458 or you can do the main garage number a call 01908 643 603 just tell them rb sent you and come down have a viewing have a test ride or well, we don't do test ride but come down have a viewing let's have a sit on the bike and if that is the bike for you they are in stock and available but more test rides to come up on this at a later date watch out for the spec coming up at the end of the video and until the next time be well ride safe and from rb as always it's a big goodbye from me we'll see you on the next one